Before we even start, you have to imagine eliminating your competition with winning ad strategies. You might be thinking like, I really have to imagine this. Being able to run ads comes from a place of empowerment and mindset. So I do spend time. I close my eyes and I literally think of eliminating my competition. I want to be in the top 10, only my books and my niche. I want to take over my niche only because I want to impact more people and make more money. In this video, I'm sharing my most recent winning ad strategy with you guys. Let's dive in. This is a way to achieve an ACoS of under 2%. This is essentially 50x return on ad spend, okay? So let's dive into exactly what this looks like. This is a more of a step-by-step as much as I can share without giving away my niche. So let's dive into it. This was a campaign that I thought about and launched February 6th. So it is almost 60 days old. Okay. So you guys know that I always do sponsored products for all of my ads. Okay. So I don't have any experience with sponsored brands at the time of this video or lock screen ads. So you'll, I'll let you know when we get into that, but there is such a big world to explore with sponsored products alone. And the secret to this success is match type exact. So this is a, you might be thinking like, you don't even make any sense. It takes some time, but I'm going to walk you through what exact match type is and why it is so powerful. Okay. So at the time of this video, I have over 50 days of data in my account to be able to show you the 50 X, the ROAS of 50 per right? I've timed it and the A cost is under 2%. I did this with Book Bolt. And if you guys know about Book Scout in Book Bolt, it is an incredible resource. Let's actually dive into it right now so you can see exactly the things you need to do. So I could probably do a top 10 video of why I love Book Bolt. And if you would like that, please put in the comments top 10 and I'll do it. They do weekly calls every Thursday, so you can master all of these things to increase the income for this income stream, right? So I am on BookBolt Book Scout. You can see here in the URL Book Scout. This is where you can plug in any independent published book and get the keywords that it is ranking for, which is very powerful. So this is a big component to some of my ad strategies that I teach in bids and map bids and budget masterclass, which this video will also be added to that in the coaching portal. So if you have questions when you implement this, you can ask. So I'm going to click rank and it's going to show me that it is ranking for so many keywords. So now I have the option to take these keywords and create a manual ad strategy from these keywords, right? So if you haven't done that with your books, do that. And the second thing that I'm going to show you is BookBolt helped me discover this. So not only is it ranking for so many of these things, but when I plugged in one, another one of my books, it showed me that my title was now a keyword. And that's where we're going at with this video. So imagine a keyword here. Things I want to say at work but can't. Rank number one. Search volume, 87,000. Go ahead, copy that. And we're gonna take it over into Amazon ads. Okay, so now that BookBolt and its amazing extension of Book Scout, or I should say feature, not extension, because it is found in BookBolt, they've given us, they've let us know that our title has become a keyword. So 
this is really good news because you can do this with your competitions books too. So what I'm what I did February 6th is I turned on a manual ad and I'm focusing on keyword exact match type. Okay, so let's do the ad setup. You'll go to Amazon, you'll go to advertising amazon.com and open your console for the country that you're running ads in. When you go to campaigns, it will look like this. There's a blue button at the bottom. You're going to click the blue button and you're going to have three options. As you've seen before, we are going to choose sponsored products. That is the type of ad that we're doing. Then we get to choose the format and I have not played around or tested custom text ad format yet. I did it a little bit, but not enough to give you any winning strategies or experience, right? So that's something I need to go down the rabbit hole and test out. But so far, all these other ad strategies work really well for me. And that's why I share them on my channel. So the type of ad format is standard. Okay, that means that the book is going to show up in a shopper's view without additional things. If we did custom ad text, we could say we could do an opening hook with direct response marketing to try and catch their eye. And let me do some homework on that because I think that could be interesting. Words do have, um, you can connect with people emotionally. So I love that words have meaning. So, but for my experience and for my ad success, I typically 89 to 98% of the time choose standard ad, especially if I'm imagining wiping out my competition. I love everyone who self publishes, but I want to get my book into all my customers hands. So that's why I learn ads because it gives me a leg up. Here we go. So the next part, after you choose standard, you're going to see ad groups. Now ad groups is where you change the budget of your targets and you put in more information. A rule of thumb for me is I leave my ad group titled with the date because that helps me remember when I go into it. I really don't know what else I would add in group. I don't add any other books at this stage or any other type of targeting because I'm simply trying to scale. And my coach who taught the teaches the course best selling book ads, he's taught me so much about scaling. And so in ad group settings, I want to just leave this alone. So I do. Now, the exception to this is if I ever copy an ad, I will change the, the date to be the present day that I'm copying it. If you don't change that, then your ad group will remain the old date. This is a screenshot from five seconds ago, so it is current, but that is the only time I'm changing the date and ad group name at the time of this video. After you do that, you're going to choose your book. You'll go through it alphabetically, or if you have the ASIN memorized, or you can type it in. Typically, when I search for my book title, it doesn't come up. And I don't know if it's because I have 400 books and 200 of them are blocked. I don't know. It's okay. I just type in the ASIN. That seems like it's faster for me if I have that handy. So once I have that, now Amazon Ads knows what book we want to sell. Then we get a choice of targeting. And there's two sections to targeting. And usually they're set on automatic. And so if you have never run ads before, I probably wouldn't recommend this video. I'd probably recommend doing an auto ad automatic because Amazon will do a lot of the heavy work for you. But a lot of you guys are here to scale your ads and make money. And I'm so grateful that you're here. And that's why I'm willing to share how to eliminate your competition because it's something that I've been doing. And at the time of this video, like I was thinking today, what if I'm giving my competition ad strategies? Like, congratulations, go implement them and win. There's enough abundance for you and I to compete against each other with these strategies, okay? 
I'm always going to develop new strategies. That's how I am. I'm going to develop new books. I want everybody to win. Back to the video. So in targeting, we're going to do manual targeting because it gives us the option to choose keywords or products. And second to that, you'll see the next section, which is keyword targeting. And that's what we want to use because BookBolt gave us so many great targets. But in this particular video, I am using or, you know, to demonstrate the success of my ACOST, I'm using my book title as my keyword because it has sold enough and it shows up in the book scout ranking. So that's where I come to keyword targeting and you'll have to toggle over to enter list. And I always set my custom bid. I, this one, I plugged it in. It said 75 cents. Yeah, right. I always start between two and nine cents. And then I scale up adding two pennies every couple hours until it spends. Now you can see the match type here. If your book hasn't sold a lot, but it's selling and it is a keyword, you can decide to go after this book in three ways. The broad keyword, the phrase keyword, or the exact. And from my data in BookBolt, I learned that people are putting in the exact title of my book. So I would untoggle, I would unclick the boxes of broad and phrase for this campaign. Now in future campaigns, you could add broad and phrase into those keywords. So you'll simply add them in this box and hit keyword. Now with this campaign that I did, my ACOS is under 2% for exact match type. Does that make sense? So you can see here it's delivering exact keywords and then there's some that are phrases, but the ACOS that's getting 1.99% is exact. And that is a really powerful strategy. So I want you to think of that as you're doing your research, you're doing, and some people have asked me, you're running ads to your own, like, are you not, is that even profitable? Yeah, it is profitable. You guys, people are searching for your books. If they've sold, your selling book can become a keyword. And if you're not targeting your own book, guess who else is? Your competition. You guys may, maybe you've heard me say this. If you don't have a plan for yourself, Satan does. If you don't have a plan for yourself, the abyss of doing nothing does. If you don't have a plan for yourself, distraction does. I should say distraction instead of Satan because it feels more real. I mean, yes, we can get into religion, but if you don't have a winning strategy, then what do you have? So anyone watching this video could be your competition. And they're like, oh, game on. Jenny gave me the one, the under 2% ACOS strategy. I'm going to go pu plug this independent published book into Book Scout, And I'm going to go get the title. I'm going to run ads to that. You legit can do that, you guys. That's why I think it's so important for you to learn ads. Because I want you to play offense. I don't want you to have to play defense all the time. And when you have a winning niche, you get to strategize and use all the winning ad strategies in there to help everybody find your book, not just a certain type, you know? Anyways, drum it, drum it, drop in the comments any questions that you have about this strategy. It is very, very simple. And this is advanced strategy. So if your book is not selling, you're not going to be able to find your book in Book Scout, okay? But if you're looking to add additional campaigns to your profitable books and you're looking for more ways to eliminate competition, then definitely implement this. Please subscribe so you don't miss any other winning strategies. Please subscribe so I know that you're here and so I can serve you guys the very best. Love you. Peace out.